Uh, you see we had the Crown Vic out today on the interstate. Uh, and as you see, man, it still works. Clears the traffic, no problem. Hey everyone welcome back to the channel it has been a while since we had the crown victoria on the channel so today we're going to go ahead and do a walk around and we also will have to replace the windshield it had a, a chip at the bottom and it actually has been there since i had the car and now it has expanded so we'll take a look at that also and i'll let you guys know what they charge to replace the windshield once i give them a call and get it done but other than that let's go ahead and walk around the car as you see it's still looking nice right now i got it in a uh, wash bay so i can go ahead and wash it it's been a minute actually i've been taking it through the uh automatic wash so you know it's white paint so it's not too bad but today i'll go ahead and do it myself quick wash go from there as you see we're gonna come on around let's see can we get that yep yeah, still looking real nice use some so I ran out of soap for the car I'm just gonna use some, some uh, stuff that's not made for the car but it'll work so I gotta do a little paint correction on a little couple little spots here and there still got the lights looking real nice yeah let's say we're gonna get ready to wash the car so Got outside before it starts to get too hot. Supposed to be one of the hottest days of the year so far, so we're gonna go ahead and beat the heat. Yeah, check out the crown. Hit that like button because it is looking super nice. Alright, um, so let me go ahead and get some stuff on the windshield first. Need to get off and then we'll go ahead. Well, let me see, I might be able to show you. All right, so this, I probably show you from the inside. There you go, see that crack is just going all the way. Now, the crack is actually somewhere, I'll show you from the inside at the bottom, but you see it's right in the driver view. So that doesn't help at all. All right, so on the Crown Victoria, we have 122.380. That is pretty low mileage for a Crown Victoria. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this <coughs> window that we have to get replaced. See that right there, there we go. So as you see, the crack is right in front of the driver view, and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the window, and that's where it originally was cracked, and it stayed like that for a while, but now since the heat is out it is now forming i don't know if the one that probably is not going to stop probably going to go all the way across so we'll be getting that fixed so i turned a little air on it's already getting hot outside so with the crown victoria i have a few plans that i thought of with the car i don't know exactly what i'm going to do with the car just yet so for now i'm going to keep it in good shape until i decide exactly what i want to do with it, it might even end up selling the car i don't know yet I have to wait and see you know which ride i want to take so that's what we've been doing with the crown vic but other than that it's still been getting uh still been driving it here and there you see the miles are still low i think i bought the car um 90 right at ninety six thousand miles so i have put you know what 20 you know five something like that somewhere in there 20 some thousand miles on the car it's been running great we have did it did the uh rear differential you know got the new wheel bearings and all that stuff done other than that i did the knn for the air filter which i need to check make sure it's still you know, clean which it should be i just put it in here probably like a couple months ago it is time for oil change can't remember i've been taking it in for oil change which sucks but i don't want to get up on the car but then they put the cheap oil filter on there so I probably just take it somewhere where I can just take my own oil filter and oil and let them do it that way. 
But I've been keeping the car clean. Let's take a look. You know, you know, we gotta show you the wood grain. So I have been keeping the car clean. You see now the airbag light, it has always been on since I've owned the car. Let's check out the wood grain. No other interceptor will have the wood grain in there like this. And that light does work. Yeah. Still got the original radio. Like I said, once I start putting money into it, I'll decide if I don't want to put any money into it and just sell it, then might as well have the factory radio in there because, I mean, why, why spend the extra money if you're going to not keep the car? And your four emblem looks pretty nice. Yeah. Time for a little fuel to be added. I do got to add the fuel in it today. Um, I keep the fuel kind of low. Um, I try not to go past the last quarter. Half a tank would be nice, but like I said, the car doesn't get driven that much, so I like to keep fresh fuel in it, so I keep it around a quarter, and then if I decide, well, hey, I'm gonna go, you know, maybe 50 or 100 miles, then I go ahead and bump it on up. You know, just keep that fresh uh, fuel in there to keep everything running smooth. Believe it or not, if, if you leave bad fuel in the car, let the fuel get old, it it can um, have your car running very rough. I've seen it. Go ahead and put this bad boy in gear. Go ahead and back out. Oh, and then we have done, of course, the lights and stuff. So, oh, new tires all the way around. I got, well, three tires are brand new. I have to replace one more. It was still in good shape, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that replaced soon so that way all four be brand new. Let's see, backing this car out. I guess I keep it in pretty good shape. So if we do end up selling it, Somebody's gonna get a great car. Everything works. Alrighty. So yeah, man, let me know what you guys think of the Crown Vic. You know, uh, do you guys want to see? move forward with some of the plans or just you know build the car on out or do you know maybe sell it add something new to the channel the car has been great for the channel that's where a lot of the subscribers come from um, you know but is it time for something new or should we just go ahead and move forward with building on the car you know doing some upgrades and see how far we can go with it but other than that thank you guys for tuning in thank you for watching the channel and I will catch you on the next video.